Hello everyone. Uh, I want to show you my new electronic device from Oak Castle. It's the Oak Castle CD-10 uh, CD players, like an old school, new school type device, which I'm really pleased to have because I actually have a large collection of CDs. Um, as you'll notice, it's very attractive, eye-catching packaging, and then in the upper left-hand corner, it says there's a three-year warranty, and I'm not going to speak to that in this video, but I urge you to look that up online and see exactly what's covered. So anyway, right out of the box, I pulled a smaller box, and this smaller box contained batteries, which is great because it takes two AA batteries, but they already include the alkaline batteries, the first set for you, which is very nice of them. They also include uh, a set of earbuds. Now, I've used the Oak Castle earbuds uh, with another device, and they're not bad. I mean, they're not uh, uh, the most expensive, but they're not the cheapest either, and they still have good sound. So you have your batteries and you have your earbuds. You can enjoy your CDs right away. That's wonderful. Also contains this weird looking little device which plugs in through the aux um, port and it is an inline remote control that allows you to control the uh, volume and um, the tracks on, when you're using the earbuds which is kind of cool. You can leave your device on the table and then uh, um, use that to control it. It also comes with uh, another auxiliary cable that has two of those 3.5 inch um, um, adapters and this allows you to plug it into an external device such as another speaker. Finally in that little white box it had a USB cable. This is a power cable for it and that way you can play it while your batteries are um, if you don't have batteries they're down or something like that you can power it through uh, your computer. There's the device itself. Before I discuss that let me tell you on top of the device uh, there was extra packing. You see the white here to prevent the uh, uh, books from sticking to the device, which is wonderful because I've had some stuff when they get hot in shipping or when they're stored, then it, uh, uh, the, the uh, ink from the uh, instruction manual say sticks to it or the plastics can stick to it. So that was very nice on their part. The instruction manual is in several languages. It's a, a very handy little thing to have. I know you can find the same information online, but I like to have it um, in print as well. And I've already referred to it a couple of times before I was going to do this video. The other slip of paper here is about the warranty. And you can see it's got um, a QR code. You can use your QR reader and go directly to the site. So that's a good thing. Uh, when I mentioned the warranty earlier, that's the way you can investigate what the warranty is. Um, this is the device itself. I find it very appealing. It weighs probably about like a medium-sized apple or other piece of fruit. It's not very heavy at all, but it feels well made and I like that sharp edge on it which reminds me of other speakers and other uh, modern devices. Now you're using something that's kind of old school with a CD player, but you're getting something that looks very modern here. And um, the device itself is very nice. Uh, the top part says Oak Castle. And um, I don't know whether you can see this, but at the top here it tells which media it will play, which includes CDs, MP3s, rewritable CDs, etc. Over here it says that it has the anti-skip feature, which is uh, really good to have. You don't want to be walking with it or running with it, and in the middle of a song it just uh, skips. So yes, that really helps. And then over here it tells it has a bass boost. And that's great for when you're listening to different types of music and you want that extra beat in there. Uh, this is the uh, a slide here on the side, which I'm trying to do with one hand. And that opens the device. And as you can see, it has another piece of packing in it that pr protects the um, laser when it's in shipping. And right where that uh, symbol is on the top, you just press down. You can see through that it will have a CD in there. Then once there's a CD in there, it will show on the front, uh, like starting with number one, if that's how you got it programmed. So um, that's kind of cool. It'll show the readout. It shows that you're, you're getting um, power to the unit as well. On the side here is um, the various buttons which help you um, uh, program it as well as go through uh, the tracks, go backwards and forwards through the tracks. This is the hold button, and that enables you to pause your song, basically. When you have it in hold mode, whenever you turn it on again, it picks up at the same, same spot where you put it in hold. Volume, 
this is the, the uh, DC adapter port for that USB cable. There's the headphone port where you will also put in um, the auxiliary cable if you attach it to an external speaker. And this is the bass booster button. You can have that on or off as you choose. Finally, looking at the back side of the device, uh, there's the uh, sliding panel. I hope you can tell that, that right there where you grab it and slide it off to put the batteries in. It's got nice little feet to raise it up off the table to keep it from getting warm if you are playing it on a table. So anyway, this was very good packing for it. It's really hard foam and uh, the device arrived in, in excellent shape. So I'm really pleased. I'm not at this point going to uh, tell you, I can't tell you how good the sound quality is because I haven't tried it yet, but I'll do that in a later video. So I do appreciate you watching. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.